In this presentation, we are going to look at some chemistry peak data and fit it to a Lorentzian, and we're going to do this in Mathematica. We enter the data into Mathematica. We have named the data ChemPeak, and the data is a set of sets. So there's curly brackets around the set, and then each data point is an X and a Y point, and which marks the amount of the frequency. The X is a frequency, and the Y is an absorption. Next, we make a list plot of the data named ChemPeak and we give it a plot label of cobalt absorbance, and we give it axis labels, that's a XY pair, and the X is frequency, and the Y is absorbance. We will fit this data to a Lorentzian form with a formula shown. So there are three parameters, H, which controls the height of the peak, capital L, which controls the width of the peak, and the little l sub p, which controls the position of the peak. Some of the fitting parameters in the Lorentzian form are nonlinear. Therefore, we will use the find fit method. The find fit method has four arguments. The first argument is the data that we are fitting, so that's chem peak. The second argument is the functional form to which we are fitting. That's the Lorentzian already discussed. The third argument is an indication of which quantities are to be fitting parameters. So that is the curly brackets with the H, L, P, and capital L in there. And the fourth argument is which quantity is to be seen as the variable, and that is the X. We see here that there's a error message that FindFit failed to converge to the requested accuracy or precision within 100 iterations. So it gives an H, an LP, and a capital L, but it tells us not to trust it. We will be able to fix this problem by, in our next version, giving a Mathematica, well, from cloud, sort of a head start, give it a sort of an estimated H, L, P, and L, then it can start from and, and work from there. Finally, we want to point out one more thing, and that is previously when we fit this data in Excel, we were sort of using our own eye to fit the data, and then the the data had, an, had a long tail, and we could just in our own mind, de-emphasize the tail and focus on the peak. But if we're going to let this over to some mathematical process, then we should just take that tail out of the data so that we really only have peak data and therefore that the best fit will be of the peak data because that's all there is. In the second version of find fit, the set of parameters H, L, P, and L each parameter is replaced by a set of the parameter and a starting point for that parameter. So H becomes curly bracket H comma 0.4 close curly bracket and so on. And then with the decent head start, then Mathematica, Wolfram Cloud has no problem going through all of the tedious steps to find the best fitting parameters uh, close to the original starting points that you give it. Next, we will define the Lorentzian function. Recall the underscores known as blanks and the colon equal. And then we're going to plot the Lorentzian function over the same ranges of x's as the data, so from 400 to 560. Finally, we use show to put together out to, which was the list plot of the data with the title and axis labels, and out six, which was a plot of the fit function found from find fit. And so we get our final result of the data and the fit found by Mathematica plotted together.